I was at Sephora the other day and I was looking around and I came across this palette from Melt Cosmetics. And it was really super intriguing because the colors in this palette are based off of my zodiac sign. Now I'm a Leo, so of course it's a fire sign. And I absolutely love the names of these colors because today we are going to do Hothead, Ego Trip, and Drama Queen. We are gonna see how these three colors transfer from here to here and let's see what it looks like. First product I'm gonna be using is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is the Tan Latte. I always just gently tap in my concealer. And once I have that tapped in with my fingers, I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush just to make sure that I have an all over smooth base to start with. These are some bright, bold colors, so I'm gonna be applying my eyeshadow in layers. It's easier for me to add more color than to take some off. So I'll be starting with the Drama Queen in the corners of my eyes. My first reaction to this eyeshadow is it goes on really easy. I've never used Melt Cosmetics before, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Changing brushes, I'm gonna go in with Hothead and I'm gonna put it on the outside of my eyelid. So <laughs> let's see how this one goes. This is the brighter, bolder one. Wow, okay, so what is happening is, is I have the Drama Queen in the corner and I put it to about half of my eye. Then I took the hot head and I started from the outside in and it's actually in the middle making it almost like an ombre. So I'm going from lighter to like an orange to red and I am absolutely loving this look. I'm gonna apply a little bit more hot head just to kind of give it a little bit bolder look on the outside of my eye. But so far, this is going to be amazing. Now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go in with my finger and blend it out. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do the other eye. For me, my left eye is always easier to apply eyeshadow to than my right eye. Don't know why, just the way it is. And what I've done on my left side is I've actually gone over farther with the hot head than I did on this eye. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the right eye and I'm gonna push that red over a little bit farther. I have the red on both eyes and I'll go in with my finger and blend it and smooth it out a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with my black eyeliner and I'm gonna put it underneath my lid. I absolutely love the black line look underneath because you get this black smultry look, but without it being too harsh. Next, using a wet angle brush, I'm gonna go in on my palette. I'm gonna pick the darkest color there, which is Revenge. I'll put a little bit on the brush and I'll be using this as the eyeliner on top of my lid. So you could finish here. You could put on some false lashes, you could put on some mascara, your makeup, and be good to go. I think it's a great look. 
or you could push it one step farther like I'm going to do and I'm actually going to apply the Ego Trip underneath my eyes. I'll be using this small little applicator brush and I'm just gonna go in underneath my eyes, not in my waterline, but underneath my lashes, just for a little bit more of a dramatic effect because you know what, this isn't dramatic at all. But I thought it would be fun to see if we just could take it one step further. Before applying my mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna curl both of my lashes. Using my MAC Magic Extension Mascara, I'm gonna put two or three coats on the top and then just one coat on the bottom. I don't like to add as much mascara to my bottom lashes because I wanna keep that bright. I don't want a whole lot of darkness underneath my eyes. Sometimes as a woman over 50, we have a little bit of a tendency to have darkening underneath our eyes. And I always try to keep that area as bright as possible. And there's my red eye. Wow, I absolutely love it. But I want to see what this is going to look like with all of my makeup on. So hold on and I'll be right back. And here is my red eye makeup look. Now, once I have all of my makeup on, I did see one thing that I kind of just wanted to tweak a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to go back in with my Drama Queen and very, very lightly put it up here on top and then just blend it in a little bit with my lid. And that is the finale. Thoughts about my red eye? I absolutely love it. I think this is fire, this is fierce, and this is absolutely amazing. I was watching a YouTube the other day where somebody was putting on a little bit of a red eye and they're like, oh, I think it makes me look like maybe I have allergies. And I'm telling you right now, nothing about my red eye says allergies. This says, wow, she's got a fierce look. And I absolutely love it. They're right, the colors they picked for my sign is spot on. Now don't forget, we have an orange that we can do. I already did an orange, but man, these are some bright oranges. We have too much bossy, one upper and arrogant still to try. And then we have the darker color of revenge. You know what? We're gonna have a lot of fun with this palette and I can't wait to try different colors. So as always, I have all the products that I used in my shop, my look link down below. So if you wanna try them out, you can. You, if you wanna try out your sign, you can. That will be linked down below. Um, oh, don't forget to like and subscribe because this is a fun channel. We talk about makeup, we talk about fashion, we talk about life. It's just fun, so don't be shy hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, remember, be bright, be bold, be brave, be fiery, and I will see you on the next episode.